I come down to uh, September 5th, six weeks before the games. And once again, I put down, I'm in great shape, starting to have a strong finish, take some easy strides from here on out. I'm ready for a 28-25, 10,000 meter run in Tokyo. The subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between reality or imagination. Billy Mills created the greatest upset in Olympic history when he won the 10,000 meter event. And yet, he had planned how to win this race with clockwork precision for four years. For me, it was a form of, of self-hypnosis. And I visualized dozens of times a day. Then I started with my workout book. And so in this particular notebook, as I got closer to the games, this was the summer of uh, 1964, I believe in August. I put down, I'm in great shape, must believe, believe I can run with the best in the world now, and I can beat them at Tokyo. The problem he faced was how to improve his best time by almost two minutes. Now, how do you improve almost two minutes? And it's, it's just too phenomenal to think in terms of two minutes or a minute and 50 seconds. So I just went to the simplest form, the simplest form of something I thought I could believe. Once around the track, 25 laps, I felt I just have to put forth that much more effort, a lap, and that's 25 seconds. To improve 50 seconds, each lap I'd have to stay on top of the intensity of my pace just, and that's 50 seconds. Two laps to go, I'm on Ron Clark's shoulder, and Ron looked back. My thoughts were, my God, he's worried. If I could just stay with him, I have a chance. I have a chance. We go into the last lap, I go in boxed in, perfectly boxed in. He nudged me a little, I nudged him back, and he gently put his hand under my elbow and just pushed me out. I thought I was gonna fall, I went out, stumbled, I closed back on his shoulder, Kamuri from Tunisia broke between us. At that point, I was going to accept third place. Coming off the final curve, I couldn't, I could not hear any noise at all. I could hear the throb of my heart. I could hear the heartbeat pounding. I, I could feel a tingling sensation creeping down my forearm. My vision coming and going, but my thoughts changing from one more try, one more try to I can win, I can win, I can win. I could see the tape stretched across the finish line. 30 yards to go, my thoughts became over and over again. I won, I won, I won, <laughs> but I'm still in third place. You focus for four years, dozens of times a day, visualizing, really reliving the moment the way you want it to be. And then you win. That one fleeting moment, you know you're the very best in the world.